Hey, 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 everyone, Rosbowski here, and welcome to my top five animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, over the past couple of days, because we've had the teaser trailer coming out and stuff, I've been having a little think to myself about who are my favourite of these beloved children's characters, you know, that serve you pizza and uh, bite your brain out. But I was having a little think about what my top five would be, so hold on to your butts, because here we go. So, in the number five, guys, we have got... Bonnie. Now, when I first played the game, Bonnie always came for me. Bonnie was the first to leave the stage. Bonnie would come down and just pester me on that left-hand door and he would scare the hell out of me. Not only would he constantly just hang around the door, but that jump scare, that initial jump scare when it first came, damn, it scared that living shit out of me. Oh, is he broken? Ah, sweet mother of Zeus! I understand 110% why Scott has nightmares about Bonnie and like we said yesterday, Bonnie could actually potentially be the main antagonist on the main villain of the whole Five Nights at Freddy's franchise and just all of these things together just made me think, yes, Bonnie deserves a spot in the top five. I absolutely love just everything about the characters. The first one to leave the stage, it pesters you constantly. It is purple, it's a cool color, and I just love its design. I love that it's, uh, it's, it plays guitar, that's pretty damn cool, and it just scares me. The original Bonnie is absolutely fantastic. When it go, went into Withered Bonnie as well, talk about even scarier, and it seemed to grow in height as well. It seems enormous, but yes, this guy is definitely the scariest one. Definitely will give me nightmares for years to come. And that is why Bonnie is in at number five. In at number four, guys, we have got Foxy, everybody's favorite pirate. This guy just wants to hug you. He has some very interesting shippings on online. I don't know if you've ever seen any uh, pictures people have drawn of Foxy and some other characters, let's say. But other than that, it's a pirate. Foxy's a pirate, that is pretty damn cool, he's got a hook for a hand, he's got an eye patch, and he just has the coolest mechanic in the game. I love, in both games in fact, in the first game obviously you had to check on him, he was like this over over needy uh, partner, you had to pay attention to him, but not pay, don't pay too much attention to him, or otherwise you're going to scare him off, it's one of those things, you just had to balance it when checking Pirate Cove, and I just loved that um, that aspect of it, I think it, it was absolutely fantastic, especially when it ran down the hall, you, you didn't see any other animatronics run, no other animatronics ran at you, so I loved the way that did, and obviously the first time I saw Bo um, Foxy running down at me and banging on the door, absolutely shit myself. But I loved that um, that aspect of the game, and that is why Foxy is definitely going to be in the top five in at number four. I also like the fact that there are so many rumors are going round about be Foxy being the 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 the, uh, the bite of eighty seven. He is the one that has bitten out somebody's frontal lobe, and there are so many interesting stories to do with Foxy, and that is exactly why Foxy, you are in at number four, my friend. In at number three, we have got Toy Chica. Now, guys, ladies, gentlemen, need I say more? Just look at that beauty. I mean, Chicky Minaj, just sitting there, right there, with its figure. I mean, from Five Nights at Freddy's 1 to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Chica worked out. She just went to the gym, began squatting, and that booty is like... Absolutely fantastic. If my anaconda wanted a bit of that, I would definitely try for that. Interesting pictures online again, but I mean, what's not to like about Toy Chica? She is uh, aesthetically pleasing, she seems really nice, she keeps her distance, and she brings cupcakes. I mean, that, that, that sounds like a fantastic night there. And she's also written across her bib, she says, let's party. I mean, if that is an invitation to go and grab a bit of that cupcake and maybe a bit of that ass as well, then I don't know what is. And that is exactly why Chica is in at number three. Now, we're on to the big number two. Golden... Freddy. This guy, this guy has spawned so many stories, so many uh, imaginative theories, so, many, so much speculation is around Golden Freddy that we, we just don't know what to believe and what not to believe. That's fantastic. I love games. I love games that give the fandom, that give the, the, the viewers and the people playing the game a, a, a subject to talk about, and Golden Freddy is absolutely perfect for that. Is Golden Freddy just a hallucination? Is it is it something that, that Mike Schmidt 
hallucinates on because originally to get Golden Freddy to spawn you had to look at the poster on the wall then if you went back into the room Golden Freddy would be sitting there in front of you all limp lifeless and dead is Golden Freddy actually real was the Golden Freddy suit used for the murder because what is it in night six or five nights of Freddy's two I don't know the exact quote it was something along the line of there's a spare suit in the back it's a yellow one someone used it and now they're not acting right that sounds to me like that, 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 that this Golden Freddy suit is, is real. There are so many things around it. Could it be the murder suit? Is it just a hallucination? Is it just is it an Easter egg character? Is there not too much of a purpose for it? Is it just an Easter egg overall? Or is, is when another rumor that's going around, which is fantastic, is when the phone guy dies on night four and five nights of Freddy's one, is Golden Freddy the suit that he's stuffed inside? I don't know. That's what's so amazing about Golden Freddy, the mythical, the, the legendary. Is he um, Fred Fredbear? Is he Fredbear? Is he the original suit that that went around Fredbear's diner? I don't know. That's what's so amazing about this. That is exactly why the mythical, the sexy, the golden Freddy is in a number two. Now, guys, number one, my top animatronic, and this is all, this is all just me, this is all just my opinion, my favourite animatronic, the one I think is the best, is the marionette, the puppet, the marionette, whatever you want to refer to him as, I absolutely love this guy, when he was revealed, um, when, when pictures surfaced of the marionette, in the build up to the, the demo being released of Five Nights at Freddy's 2, he looked amazing. He looked really, really good. There was something creepy about puppets and marionettes, isn't there? There's something extra creepy about that. Robots moving around is creepy enough, but something extra weird. And when the story's developed of what this guy actually is or could be, then it got even better. It got even better. He is a character that holds so much promise still. It's already given us so much. Scott has given us so much to do with the puppet master or the, the, the marionette or the puppet. We don't even know his real name, to be honest. That's how mysterious this guy is. One, he is supposedly, and it, uh, all the evidence I've looked at suggests to me that he is the first child to be killed by the killer. You see it in, in one of the death um, minigames. So he is the, the, the first child to be killed, so he becomes the marionette. The marionette then goes ahead and uh, gives the other children, gives the, 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 the other robots life, the other animatronics life by putting the, the soul of the other dead kids into the robots. And it's just amazing. The phone guy doesn't like him. The phone guy says he's always thinking, does this mean that maybe the other robots don't really have intelligence, but the marionette actually does? It sounds to me like the marionette is the could be one hell of a ringleader, could be the ultimate ringleader of all of this, the, the children uprising this child that's been turned into the marionette, the puppet master is so angry at the rest of the world and the rest of mankind, the adult versions of them, that he has risen the rest of these children up from the grave, stuffed their souls inside a suit and said, on you go boys, kill some people because that'll make me happy. That is such a good, it's just such a good story writing. And having him just always thinking just shows to, it just suggests that there is so much more to the, the marionette or the puppet that we just don't know yet. There is so much more potential for this guy and it makes me so excited in my pants. And that is exactly why the marionette or the puppet master is in at number one. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my top five there. Please, 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 in the comment section below, drop your top five in there as well, because I would love to hear each and every single one of yours, because people will like Toy Bonnie more, people will like Freddy more, people will put Golden Freddy as the number one. I don't know. It's so good that we all have our personal opinions and, um, let me know what they are in the comment section, but let me know what you think of my list and my reasonings for putting them in, because it's always good to, to hear that. But definitely, if you want me to do more top five videos, let me know in the comment section below as well and, and the kind of thing that you want, the top five interesting things to do with a fan, that kind of thing. But I'm, I definitely want to do more of these because I've got so many thoughts to do with Five Nights at Freddy's and it's really good to just get them in a video like this. But I hope you enjoyed the first top five uh, Five Nights at Freddy's um, video on the channel and there will definitely be some more coming your way. If you enjoyed today's, hit that like button and uh, if you're not already subscribed, so go ahead if you enjoyed today's videos and I'll see you around. I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!